Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and today I thought I would talk about something that I kind of do in my free time that I think you guys might be interested in or you might already know all of this and like none of this matters. So on Reddit there is kind of a trend where you announce to the world what you have learned today and it's usually shortened to TIL which just stands for today I learned and every once in a while I'll actually flick through the TILs for the Terraria subreddit just to see if there is anything that I've not seen before or anything I've forgotten So I thought today I would show you guys four things I actually have no idea about Terraria that I have learned today just flicking through So now I'm going to leave a link down below to the Terraria subreddit All you have to do is search TIL in capitals and then you'll be able to find all of the articles people have kind of given about what they've learned Right, so let's go into the first one so, T-I-L, an angler, is actually a plastic wrap at the end of a shoelace. Right, so I had no idea that this was a, this was a thing. For some reason, I thought that an aglet was kind of like an ankle, or an... <laughs> I have no idea what I thought it was. I did not think that it was anything to do with a shoelace. But now it makes sense why you can use it to run faster, because it's obviously like a shoelace. Honestly, I have no idea about this. I love the comments. Like, dude, have you not watched Phineas and Ferb? I haven't watched Phineas and Ferb. God damn, or I'd have known this one. Don't forget it. So you guys probably knew that one, but wow. I was honestly like kind of mind blown when I saw that. So that's kind of cool. Right, so on to number two. T-I-L, putting living flame dye on a wisp in a bottle makes him invisible. So this is really cool. So I actually saw a few people talking about this like kind of a while ago, but I, I had no idea exactly what it was. And some people are kind of debating in the comments whether it's a bug or not. So I don't know, but I didn't know that. You can make a pet go invisible. So that's really cool. And all you need is some living flame dye. And maybe they kind of cancel each other out. I, I don't know, but that one's kind of cool. Right, so on to number three. T-I-L, there is a maximum limit of 1,000 storage items in each world. Attempts to place additional storage items will result in the item immediately dropping to the ground as an item rather than being placed. So, once again, I never knew this. But what's more interesting is that Diceman has actually listed some cool, interesting things there are other limits in the games that people can know. So Diceman is a uh, like a very famous Terraria architect and wirer. I've featured him many times on the channel, but this one's really interesting. So you can have a maximum of 200 NPCs, a maximum of 400 dropped items, maximum of 1,000 projectiles, and maximum 100 dummy ghosts for when you're like hoiking and stuff. But that was really cool. Like, I'd, I'd have never have guessed. A thousand is where it caps out. So I imagine when there's like 50 naturally generating ones, you can place 950. That's kind of interesting. That is a lot of storage. Right, so on to the final one. Today I learned Sky Lakes drain infinitely. So this is actually to do with uh, the way you kind of filter the water out. So if you do kind of like a one block tunnel, the water will actually just fill your world up and it will just flood the world like it will keep going like it will just flood until it is reached the level that the water source is dripping from so that will be the base of your sky island of course it would take god knows how long like it must take like hours to reach that point but if you were to open up to like three or four you know lanes so little blocks or whatever then it would just drain it. But that's really interesting. That's actually a book to do with Terraria, but this is why I like Terraria Reddit, because you can learn all of these new things that you just never have thought to, uh, to check out yourself. But anyway, guys, that's actually going to do it for today's video. Hopefully, I've inspired you to go and check out uh, what else you can find on Today I Learned. And uh, maybe I'll do a few more of these in the future with some more interesting ones. Who knows? We'll see what, uh, what takes me by surprise. All right, have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.